Hey YouTube, it's Go from the Friday Night Shooters again, and I'm raiding with the C4 that I just found in my last video, where in the airdrop. So this is actually the second piece of C4 on this door, so I announced raid in the chat, I announced uh, raid by voice over the microphone, and this is an all metal shack, and I couldn't, see, in a wooden shack you can see through the doors, um, through, sorry, through the kind of like gaps in the planks, so you can have a look in and see how many boxes, with a metal shack you can't, so I had no idea what was going to be inside, might be a waste of my my last bit of C4, and, but uh, no, it turned out to be extremely fruitful. Uh, all I've ever had is a pistol um, and some of the kind of not so good wooden guns earlier. So, But I found this three sets of three stacks of the larger chests. And inside the chests, I got loads of stuff. I got I got bits of food. I got better um, better clothes for myself. And I, first of all, I apologize to whoever I'm raiding from, but I have been raided so many times before as well. So I think as long as you raid in a certain manner, as long as you follow the rules, and as long as you, yeah, you're decent about it. Uh, don't kill, never kill the guy in the sleeping bag. I mean, that's one rule too. You don't kill the person in the sleeping bag. It's just, it's just not right. Um, and I almost, I almost missed the best booty, the best treasure out of this whole raid, as you'll see in a moment. Uh, your problem with raiding is, I mean, I'm quite far from home here, my, on my own shelter, is how many spaces you have to carry. So you have to prioritise what's the best stuff to steal and which of your own stuff do you throw away. So at this stage, I'm raiding the furnace. Um, this saves me having to, particularly the rocks. The wood's not that important, but the rocks, uh, the minerals, the metal, the sulphur, uh, all this can be made into better weapons, into ammunition, gunpowder, this sort of thing. So I'm trying to decide what to keep. Uh, I'm going to go back to the three boxes then. And I'm going to check them out kind of carefully. And one of the tricks that you can have with the larger boxes, because they're so big, there's a scroll wheel. See on the right hand side, the scroll wheel. And boom! I go down. And I'd missed this on the first. And only for I went back for a second check. Look at all the weapons. I get extra 9mm. I get an M4, which I've never had before and I've always wanted. I get a shotgun. I get an MP5 or M5P, which is the, the sort of submachine gun. Uh, I get all his goodies were hidden down in, in at the bottom of the scroll, which... I, I, I'm nervous when I'm doing this. I mean, I'm not recording my voice live here, uh, but when I was doing this, I was concentrating really, really hard and really worried that someone else, i.e. the owner of the house or a random person, will come up by and shoot me in the head. Uh, the server I'm playing on is the Beer and Noob server. It's a brilliant server, um, but you can you have to announce your raids on it. There's no PvP except at certain times like airdrops or during raids, protecting your property, that kind of thing. Uh, but you still get the odd random person trying it. So I was, I was a little anxious. I was kind of thinking, am I, am I gonna get popped in the back of the head and lose absolutely everything? <laughs> and so then my poor brain is trying to work out, what will I leave? What will I keep? And I see all the gunpowder as well. Uh, I see the research kit. Uh, I, uh, this is something I need to improve in my Rust gameplay. I need to get quicker at, um, deciding what to chuck. You know, stuff, I mean, I should be chucking that chicken straight away. I didn't even notice the rock in my inventory, uh, right down the very bottom. Um, I didn't notice the, um, you know, the the light that you start off with at the beginning of the game, the torch uh, for ages that should have been chucked early on. Um, but also when you're uh, raiding, well for me anyway, I've normally broken down wooden doors with a pickaxe, so you don't tend to find this much good stuff. Uh, so now I feel like I'm on a more equal setting in the game. I, I've been playing the game on my own. I'm, I haven't teamed up with anyone except at the very start. A really cool guy called Swish helped me out the very first night I played the game. Um, but I haven't seen him on the server since. Um, uh, so I, I've I've got my house. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that I don't get raided, you know, again, because <laughs> I keep getting raided. And uh, but look how long this is taking me. This is taking me forever to like, ooh, what will I take? I'm, I'm like a really old old person, you know, who's got to change out to pay for their shopping at the checkout in the supermarket. <clears throat> Pardon me. But uh, I, oh, I get explosives there as well. So um, I, next thing I want to do is I want to get more research kits because a lot of this stuff I don't, I haven't learned how to craft myself yet. So I need to go around, kill zombies, go to the radiation zones, find crates in order to research that. So if I do get raided again, at least I'll have the ability to craft them myself. So my plan is to come back here. Now I never do come back. Oh no, that's not true. Actually, I did come back, but everything was anything I'd left was gone. Uh, but my house is quite far away. Uh, that's your house, sir. If I robbed your house or, or madam, uh, I apologize. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a nice metal shack and it was hidden very well. The reason I found it was other people had built big houses nearby and it was the big houses that gave it away. Uh, uh, all too often this game, bigger is not better. Uh, th that shack in front of me was the one I was planning uh, to raid 
before I uh, found those small metal ones, so I'm glad I waited and didn't rush to the first house. Now I'm just typing in the chat that the raid is over down the bottom left. You don't have to type raid over, you do have to chat that the raid is happening, but I, uh, in this instance I just wanted to sort of announce it, so keeping everything nice and clear on the server. So that's it guys, I apologise if I raided your house, I uh, uh, hope you liked the video, take care.